and uh, very uh, high pressure. I know I can be a little bit uh, much, uh, but I thank you guys for uh, understanding where I was coming from. It's only because I want the best for you. It's like this lesson I was taught uh, growing up where they were like, um, the parents will always shout, and it's an African tradition, they'll always shout at you because they want you to be better. They want you to prosper. The minute they stop talking, you must know that's when they've given up. Yeah. In anything that you want, and you still ask that you reach to it, you still have a chance to make it better. Like, uh, I've run out of ways. I don't even know what to say. Like, uh, I wanted to use this um, for my uh, portfolio. But the complete are wrong. It's incomplete. So, you know, as long as I'm still shouting, you must know it's because it's, uh, it's out of care. It's not, it's not because like I've given up. So, other than that, it was a phenomenal two weeks, and I feel like the program was a success entirely. This is the first program I've ever facilitated. The first program that I've ever set. So I'm happy that the, the response that you guys are giving because now the education is coming from within you. It's not, it's not through my indoctrination of you. It's through what you are seeing, observing, experiencing, and emulating through what you absorb. So for me, that's 100% success. In regards to the show, yeah, but like it's been a real pleasure working with all you guys. You know, um, for me, this is not an L. There's no loss here. I learned a lot and I want a lot of new friends that I can work with. And like, I genuinely feel like Usbu, you won a long time ago because you decided to invest in your dream. And with that, you invested in all of them. And I just came yesterday and just invested in the same time. Bro, you just pushed so much growth. Because of your conversations that taught me how to direct, they taught me how to move the camera, they taught me how to be a video mixer, even though I didn't know what that was two days ago. It has been a journey. But I feel like uh, a journey doesn't stop like today. It has to go on. I feel like uh, when you're in a boxing match, when you get beaten, you don't, you don't just hang your, your, what do you call it? No, your gloves. Yeah. So the journey continues. Let's go on, be strong. Huh? Yep. If the show goes slow through the host, the whole thing is going to be slow. But if you pick up, and everything's going to be excellent. So yeah. I really believe that's not the best we can do. I think there's so much more we can do. And I think now I'm not tasting that pain alone when I was sitting there. Because I was I got depressed for six months. At least now I'm not doing I'm not sharing that I'm not eating that by myself. I thought this was gonna be the last pilot. I think we still need to do another one and we're gonna do another one. We just need some time to recover and stuff like that. And then I need to speak with our partners and see maybe if I can get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we'll definitely. As, as the sun rises, so do we. Hard, hard work, consistency, perseverance, dedication. That's what we are. Arise, Arise Festival. Festival. They should be just something better than representing African culture, than taxi violence and broken homes in our communities. Uh, I guess it was our first time, by the way, for some of us and others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned quite a lot, although we didn't reach the target uh, as we thought, or maybe we over prepared for this somewhere where we are getting prepared. And we are learning, you, you learn through your mistake, and that's, a, uh, that's the biggest. Uh, challenge of it, you know, you learn through a mistake and then you become better than uh, how you were. You might feel that you might feel uh, disappointed, but it is, uh, 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 you know, it's one of the powerful things you could ever have because next time you come harder than 
do it before. We 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 learned a lot, guys. Like you know, we say it, it, it was a lesson. It's not it's not a lesson. You know, you know. Now we know how to prepare and fix. You know, and just better ourselves. So next time we're gonna come, like you're saying, you know, we're gonna come back stronger. So yeah. All the encounters that I've experienced and through the journeying that I've done and through the introspection, self-introspection that I've done, I've decided to say that I want to work with people in a way that they can also be reaffirmed and reinforced within themselves without the validation of the external environment. And therefore I created the Last Ultimatum Youth Consortium. So the Last Ultimatum Youth Consortium is a project and program based organization that focuses primarily on the inclusion and the participation of women, youth and persons with disability. Why I've decided to contextualize it in that way is because now there's a department that is supposed to administer um, the advocation for us to actually be involved in the running of this country. Uh, statistics do show that because there is a child born every 10 seconds or two minutes or whatever the case may be, young people are indefinitely the majority population within every single ecosystem. Oh, I'm alive, I'm alive.